on the Phantom Safety Pin. This is the LP 2010 Advent Calendar. And this game right here is called Snail Bob. In it, you play this little guy, Bob. You help him get through all these uh, obstacles to help find his uh, home. So without further ado, let's play. Now this is a puzzle game. Now see, so what you need to do is uh, you use all these different uh, things to help Bob reach his goal. Some puzzles are very tricky, some puzzles are not. By the way, if you click Bob, he will stop. Watch. Click. Click him again, he starts going. So, uh... And for now, you don't have any way to turn Bob around, but you will later. Oh, by the way, if you need, if you want to go faster, you just, uh... Click that and he starts going faster. There's also like neat little things, uh, where you got, uh, things like this, where you, uh, have to, uh, use stuff to turn them around, you have to rotate this to move them. Sometimes you have, uh, puzzles where you have to, uh, go and, uh, move stuff for him or get him to move stuff. It's basically, uh, Basically a, uh, just a game where you, yeah. If you go, if you let him fall down there, he dies. Yes, Bob can die in this game. And you don't want him to do that, obviously. Because if he dies, what will poor Bob do then? He'll be dead, he won't be able to get to his home. See, it's all just a bunch of puzzles. And this is actually a really easy puzzle game for those of you who like these kinds of games, but um, are a little bit too wary of the uh, other ones. Like, uh, games, for example, such as, uh, I love that Bob pretty much got distracted by Lady Snail. Bob, you moron. So, uh, basically the idea is to do all sorts of different puzzles to, uh, get Bob to moving. And the faster you do it, the more points you get. I just think it's kind of a cute little game. And, uh, see uh, these kind of games uh, very often and when you do they're not very uh, well thought out or well planned but this game you don't get that and sometimes you gotta be quick with your actions otherwise Bob will just fall back down sometimes to his doom now just so you know there is one particular level that is very difficult it's this one so we gotta find out which of these buttons cause which uh, particular uh oh no 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 Bob no freaking A what the hell see I don't like this level. It's cause freaking I can't move my mouse fast enough. I was having problems earlier with freaking Shadow Snake and now freaking this. Oh. Yeah. Freaking A. By the way, if you don't want to touch this, it'll kill him. Obviously. And if Bob dies, what would you do? If 
a shoot flip them. There we go. Now. Now what you gotta do is, uh, this one is kind of mean, but isn't too bad if you're careful. Gotta keep these hot lava drips from falling on them. Um, and, uh, yeah, I suppose it could be kind of a mean puzzle if the developers were really mean. But, uh, thankfully they are not. Thankfully the developers are not that mean. That could also have been a really tricky one if we weren't, uh, if I weren't good at this game. No, Bob! Now this one isn't too di terribly difficult, if you're careful. Fortunately. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it's just a game. You're a snail. You want to, uh, get to a new home. What more is there to say? But if, if you guys like games like this, there's all sorts of games out there that work on this same idea. Um, there's uh, games like uh, Red Star Fall is one. Uh, <laughs> this shell is going boing, 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 boing. There's all sorts of uh, games like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of not sure what else to say. I mean, what can you say about a game where you're guiding a snail around? Oh, by the way. You obviously don't want those boxes to fall on, Bob. They'll smush him. Maybe their box is full of salt. Oh, sorry, that's for slugs. Bob's a slow freaking poke. Slow poke. Cause Bob is a snail. Snail. Bob. No, Bob, no! What this hopefully amounts to is if I got it right, he will go the uh, proper way. Which is into that thing. Let's go, Bob. But, like I said, there's a lot of, uh... I love these kind of games because I like seeing what kind of, uh... Different physics. It cause to occur. And sometimes it's just about timing. Bob. Something about using things like that. Thankfully, Bob, uh, yeah. Yeah, we want to turn off that because otherwise Bob will get electrocuted and that'll kill him. And you, of course, don't want that to happen. Poor Bob. We won't be needing that anymore. So, uh, look at how slow freaking Bob is. And I mean that in, like, both ways. As in, he's not too bright and he's rather, uh, he's not very speedy. get up very, very, uh, high ledges, so. This one's a little difficult. Oops. 
And see, this is what you have to do if it keeps happening over and over and over. <sighs> I'm going to pause it here and I'll show you what happens when I get it. There we go. Finally got it. He had to be out of his shell. Yeah, you don't want him to fall down there because that can be a pretty bad thing. So, for example, if he falls in there, that would be a good, bad thing. No, Bob. No, no, no. So what you basically ought to do is, uh, carefully manipulate Bob so he can get, uh, things like batteries moved around. I'm sorry this game goes so slow, but he's a snail. What do you expect? This is one of the last levels, I believe, not the last level. Stay there. You really want to make sure he's going the right direction, because this only goes up once. Literally, once it's covered, it will not, you cannot do it again. And you're stuck, and you have to restart the level. I believe this is the final. Yep. There you go. Bob found his new home. Nicely done. We're not going to submit my score, but if you want to, you could. Here is uh, Bob in his happy new home. And this is Phantom Safety Pin saying goodbye to Bob. This game was really freaking slow. If you like puzzle games, check it out. If not, you can just leave it alone because it's really slow. And until next time, this is the Phantom Safety Pin saying I will find something hopefully a little less slow for next time. I'll see you then.